Well, that was certainly unexpected. Just like that, I had my next death. Trying to swim in lava. Because apparently, lag is a killer. For real. It was rough, to say the least. You know, just going about my business, trying to get some ancient debris in the nether. And next thing I know, there's lava above my head before I even broke a block. Well, I guess it wasn't before I broke a block. It was just before it registered. So here we are. I better grab some gold pants because I have to go try and retrieve my stuff. Not sure if anything survived, but as soon as I noticed there was lava, I ran my butt backwards, placing blocks as I went, trying to stop the lava flow. And if the lag didn't absolutely stop this from happening, I maybe have some stuff left, but chances are I just lost everything. So yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so I think we're coming up on to it soon. Just gotta say, uh, trying to run 15, 1600 blocks uh, completely bare is, is hard. Ooh, okay. That looks like there's lava. Do I see any items? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 okay. Um, uh, get out, get out, get out. Come on. Uh... Throw it in lava. Okay. Get as much out as I can. Throw it in lava so I'm not picking it up again. Come on. Okay. I have a sword. Come on. Come on. Let's pick up some more stuff. Come on, Jesse. I have no idea how long I've been loading this. Okay. Come on. You've got this. Oof. Okay. Elytra. Hey, look. Some ancient debris. Okay. Come on. This should be enough. Maybe. Hello. Hey, look, the scaffolding survived. Yay, scaffolding. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. Click faster. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Don't throw any good stuff in lava. And whew, there we are. Um, I can't tell right away if anything is missing. It looks like I have two picks, a spoon, a sword, a lytra, helmet, pants, boots. I... wait. Did everything survive? Holy heck. I really am good. Man. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to another episode on the Truly Bedrock server. That's right, it's season three. And guys, uh, we've been breeding some axolotls. And well, it, it's becoming quite the problem. I say it's become a problem because I have probably bred about 600 axolotls so far, and, and I haven't got a blue one. I'm on a mission, man. I want a blue axolotl. And I, I feel like I have the right idea, right? I came over here to the warm ocean, brought all my axolotls, but still nothing. I, I've been breeding like a mad lad and nothing, just all the same things. And so I, I can't help it. I, I need, I need to do a bit more. Ooh, and would you look at that? Hello? What do you have? Copper? Iron? Um, it doesn't have anything I really want at the moment, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But what I will say is, after being over here for a bajillion years now, I really wish that there was an easier way to do this, right? Because just having to sit here, take all these fish, get the buckets, sit here, and just catch fish and breed fish and catch fish and breed fish. It's like, I don't know. It, it just seems 
Like, I wish there was a way that we could automate it. And I know that's silly coming from me since I don't do automation type stuffs, but I just, this gets real tedious real quick, man. It's just non-stop. Just okay, you two make a baby. Now, come here and try not to get the same colors to make babies. And it's just, it's hard. Because if you did not know, if you breed two of the same, you get more of a chance of getting one of the same color and obviously we want something different. So it's still ridiculously low chance either way, but I just figure, you know what, give myself the best advantage I can. But it is not the most successful thing. I will just throw that out there right now. It is just absolutely a headache just sitting here. No, hey, pink one, pink one. There we go. And then we have this pen. We have so many pens. <laughs> and it just seems like, nope, it, it doesn't do hardly any good. But I, I can't, I can't resist trying to get a blue one, right? Like, who am I kidding? I'm competitive. I kind of want the first one. Though I will say Zap has been going crazy. I think he said he has now bred about 1400. I have not bred anywhere near 1400 and I'm sitting here complaining because it's a pain in the butt. But let's just do a few more of these and then we will get on to today's episode. All right, so now that we are done with the axolotls for today, it is time to get on to some different kind of business. We're going to do something that has nothing to do with our tower, and that is working on our apartment that Rogue Fox has been working on. So Rogue has made these buildings that have apartments for everyone, and I think they're pretty much all the same. They're just different like rooms, but I, th I think like all the rooms are actually the same, if that makes sense. Man, that was confusing, Jesse. But in any case, Rogue has been doing an amazing job. He made these cute little like apartment buildings, and I think there's a room for everyone. So I, the other day, came over here and I claimed one of the rooms with my head, you know, as one does. <laughs> and, and I really am happy with it. I think it's really cute and is this solid or, oh, okay. So it looks like there's a little bit of space because I was wondering, I think it would be fun to change up my room, decorate it, maybe put in a different floor, you know, give it my own little Jesse touch. And I think that's what we're gonna work on because I haven't done any interiors. So I brought this fancy little box, it has a bunch of goodies in it. And I think, this will be the perfect amount of materials for what I have in mind. So I'm going to play around and I will come back when I have something fancy to show you. And bibbity boppity boop. <laughs> I have something done and I'm really happy with it, I have to say. So I did come over here and I put my head inside a glowing item frame because Zloy, who is down the hall from us, did the same thing. And I thought, you know what, let's uh, just match that style, but come in here and you will see, I have this cute little apartment now. I kept some of like the same features, kept the walls, kept the floors for now in certain places. And then, you know, just added my own little Jesse touches, a computer area with a nice potted plant, like storage. It's just nice, but the pista resistance is this. Look, you can hear as I walk over some of these carpets, the nice little ring a lingy jingly -ness. <laughs> I just put a few crystals in, it's amazing. It's just like this nice little space with like, okay, not you, with little storage hidden around because Rogue included these barrels. And I thought, you know what? 
I'm going to make it so you can't exactly get to them easily, but it's like this nice hidden feature. And I'm really happy, you know. I added my paintings, I added all the stuff I normally do, but you know what I'm starting to think? Is, uh, this pink bed doesn't really go, does it? I think what I need, come in here, get me one of these, and, oh, no, um, hello, go back, okay, you didn't see that, so, let's make this purple and I think it is nice and tidy now so let's meh, put you away and I think that really just was like the final touch I might come back and change the floors in here because I'm not super happy with gray carpet but I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet but for now this is my apartment it's super cute and I love it uh make sure you go check out Rogue's episode where he builds it because these are so cool I have to say, it's been like a day of Jesse's good deeds or something. I swear, everyone at some point has talked to me about needing something or wanting something. And so I kind of went on this like nice good deeds for people I like, which is everyone kind of day. But uh, if, if yeah, let's let's just show you what I mean. Over here is the honeycomb one. I have now converted half of it <laughs> to honey bottles. Oh yeah, bottles. I can see all the honeycomb in there, yeah. Yeah, it looks good, yeah. Amazing, Jesse. It's invisible honeycomb, is it? No, hold is on. It's 1.17 honeycomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, now look again. Jeez. Ooh, it's become uninvisible. Amazing. Yeah. You just have to blink twice and then all blink of a sudden twice. it appears. Yeah, it's, okay, it's very magic. complicated, this. Almost like it glitched into the sugar chest there. <laughs> Almost. It is the most inefficient farm in the history of farms. But Yeah, you've got honeycomb literally floating on those stairs there. Yeah. No matter what I do, it doesn't it doesn't fix. I talked to Silent, Silent was like the only thing you can really do is put hopper minecarts under it. Um, like on a on an actual trail that go under these blocks too, because if you put the flowers under where the stairs are they get yeah. stuck and then mm -hmm. so you can't put the glass one block closer so it spits out and then it just get it's almost it's, uh, yeah so i've just given up <laughs> okay fair dudes so you, okay <laughs> <laughs> i mean if you know how to fix it uh, yeah but it, it would mean ripping it all out yeah so, I mean, you know, who needs those two honeycombs? Yeah, anyway? exactly. <laughs> yeah. When you've got a, one, a chunk of chest full like that, you don't need those two just flat. It's really annoying me that they're flat. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes. What's the what's the damage? Um, I what, am. What do I, you need, Jesse B? I, I was just going to say, I, I'm in the need for nothing right now. At, um, like, I'll, I go, have... I'll be on my way then. I'll go find someone else called Honeycomb to barter. Thank you very much. Well, you, Appreciate you can... the uh, dangling you... in front of my nose like that. You can just have it. <laughs> there you go. Have. It's fine. Hmm. <laughs> I, I usually hmm. don't have, have people thinking about free stuff. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Is this unsatisfactory? It's, it's putting me on edge. Why? No strings attached. How about how about team two friend presents? You gave me a book saying I could go somewhere there. That's that's the present. So you're giving me a shulker box full of honeycomb because I gave you a book that said don't dig under the lake. Yep. Mm. It seems fair to me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel better, pretty much Slack let me use his villagers for free. Um, who else? JC, I gave books, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Gruva gave me shulker shells. So we're all just, we're being nice to each other. 
<laughs> okay, right, okay. Well, I, I feel like I owe you something pretty pretty, uh, pretty grand now, to be honest with you. But if you don't need anything, that's going to be very... What do you get the lady that has more hours on the server than anyone else? <laughs> it's very difficult. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. There's two things I would like to say to you, Jesse. Okay. Number one mm -hmm. is that I am sorry. Genuinely, very, very sorry that I haven't listened to you at all about many things why ever. do i feel like there's a butt there <laughs> no, no that, but. feels, that feels tricky I, I am hereby declaring from this moment i shall listen and be open to your interesting ideas mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. now on and i will take them seriously and therefore we won't have any more problems i mean okay, okay. this is this i knew it this is you, you lured me out here on this death trap to get phantoms to eat me, haven't you? Uh, I mean, he doesn't seem very interested nice in you. <laughs> it was a minute ago. He's decided he wants to be a worm now. Oh. Okay. Well, I think so, they're your phantoms. I just logged on. So yeah, I, maybe you I, lured I me. Ooh, ooh, My head. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> here you go, Jesse. There's a gift for you for... Uh, for, for all of those honeycombs, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. You know, I've never had a phantom head, so this is this is good. Uh, no, I'm I'm no, excited. You have. Let's You're see. So welcome. How cursed does it look? Is it is it very oh. very? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Ooh. I think I'm gonna keep the second thing I was gonna say to you myself. Actually, Jesse, it was nice to see you. Jeez. Bye, <gasps> Boxy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Rogue asked if I had any looting for him. So I thought I would come over here and drop it off for him. And I have decided that I'm just giving it to him. This season, I'm not really charging people for things. I think at this point, I have given Zap books. I have given Rogue books. I've pretty much given everybody everything they've wanted so here we are doing a nice deed for our server mates and let's eat but let's not take any payment right we're just gonna try to fly away and let's tell him nothing eats on the house all right hello nope that's wrong. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Okay. Looks like we have another cell on our hands. So, let's... Um, I told him one and a half... Or three and a half stacks. So, that's 32. So, I'm... Guessing Zloy needs this for a build, and I have so much honeycomb from our beehives that I don't really need it this second. And I mean, there's not really much I need. I could use some blue ice, so we'll probably just have a trade. So, no buying, no selling, just, you know, a good old fashioned barter, right? I mean, that makes sense, and ooh, I kind of really am liking this, ooh, he hello. <laughs> okay, let's just throw stuff at him. Hello. Okay, one, two, three, half. And, of course, if he needs more, we have plenty. We'll just have to go AFK. But... There's our good deed, and uh, we will see Zloy next time. And just like that, it looks like Karma may be smiling back at us. Because I was getting ready to end my episode as I have been on for a long time, and it seems like for as much as we got done today, nothing got done. But I digress. I was coming over here, and I managed to see something. It looks like one Mr. Foxy No-Tail has decided to leave us a present. So let's get over here and check what he's left. So 
Ooh, <gasps> amethyst clusters. Ooh, I'm really excited for this. So thank you, Mr. No-Tail. And I'm excited for you guys to see what those are for because I have a project that uh, I'm working on that you may get to see sometime soon. Maybe not. I'm not sure. All I know is I'm excited for it and I think you guys are going to like it. But alas... Without further ado, this is the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you. And I will see you in the next episode of Truly Bedrock. Bye, guys.